This is one of the craziest cable news clips I've ever seen. And that's saying something. The president is polling right up there with chlamydia. So the Republican Senator John Kennedy just gave an interesting interview to Fox News where he came up with some of the usual criticisms of President Biden, but also dropped a few unique sound bites. We're going to break it all down. But first, I'm Brad Palumbo and welcome back to Mediaite, your home for commentary and coverage on the intersection of politics and media. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing and sticking around and don't forget to like and comment with your thoughts as we go along. Now, without any further ado, let's see what exactly Senator Kennedy had to say in its full context. Un unless you were, were homeschooled by a day drinker, you can see that shrinkflation and inflation are just different sides of the same coin. And, and any economist, any reputable economist who didn't get his degree from Costco will tell you that President Biden's economic policies caused both inflation and shrinkflation. Now, I, I, don't, I don't hate anyone, and that includes President Biden. But when he tries to blame shrinkflation and inflation on small business people, you have to, to consider the source. Um, so, so much of the attention right now is on President Biden's age. And it's true that it takes longer than a trip to Jupiter uh, for him to walk across the stage. But we can't lose sight of the fact that his economic policies have been almost every time reliably and dependably wrong. And his inflation is a cancer on the American dream. And the American people have figured it out. And that's why, if you believe the polls, the president is polling right up there with, um, with chlamydia. That was... Uh... Quite something. Senator Kennedy is something of a soundbite machine, and honestly, he's one of the quirkiest people in American politics. I personally will never forget the time that he told people who support defunding the police to call a crackhead the next time they get in trouble. Look, if you hate cops just because of the cops, the next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. I'm John Kennedy, and I approve this message. I'm not gonna lie. I find this dude kind of hilarious, but I will say that it is pretty disrespectful and uncivil for a senator to speak about the president this way, no matter their disagreements. I mean, you're literally comparing him to an STD. Still, there's kind of a grain of truth to Senator Kennedy's criticisms because while Biden may still have chlamydia beat in the polls, it might actually be closer than you'd think. The president's approval ratings are astoundingly low, almost historically so. In the third year of his presidency, Biden's approval rating averaged just 39.8%, according to Gallup, and that's the second lowest for any president at that point in their presidency since World War II. Biden's approval rating is even worse than Trump's in the third year of his presidency. Not great. Joe, it's not just President Biden's age and his pretty clear mental decline. Americans feel pessimistic about the state of the economy because while the inflation rate has largely subsided, prices never went back down. Yet all the while, Biden has bragged about Bidenomics and had this rosy messaging that's just falling flat with people because it doesn't conform to the experiences they're having in real life all around them. And all the while, we have an out of control crisis at our southern border under Biden's watch. Plus, while it's certainly not all his fault, there's really no denying that the world has become a more unstable and frightening place since Biden took office. Rightly or wrongly, Americans do tend to blame presidents for whatever happens under their watch. And under Biden's watch, we've had the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the war in Gaza, and so much more chaos going on. So while no, Senator Kennedy, Biden's approval rating isn't quite at STD levels yet, things aren't looking good. And while things could still change between now now and November, I'm personally not convinced that any cure is strong enough to help Biden turn things around. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Did you think that Senator Kennedy's comments were funny or did they cross a line or both? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing and sticking around or even turning on those bell notifications. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video.